Today we are in Rob Murray's studio in London discussing his recent collection of work for Iona House Gallery. So you, you do this black and white yeah. sort of monochrome series of landscapes, don't you? It's interesting because I think actually um, in some ways I find them more natural. Although, okay. yeah. although the colour work obviously looks in a literal sense more like what I'm looking at out there. Yeah. Um, you're just focusing on, on tone, contrast, composition. Mm. I like to make very instinctive, quite Free active marks. You know, I'm quite, yeah, I'm quite yeah. um, influenced by things like abstract expressionism. I always paint things that I've seen in somewhere or other, and yeah. sometimes the paintings um, end up very different from what I saw. Sometimes they're very accurate in terms of uh, oh, wow. composition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what I'll do is I'll, I'll take photos as well, and sometimes short videos, and that's quite interesting to play a video yeah. on a loop on the, on the, yeah. on the, the, the tablet. So that you're not, you get, you're not you get some fixed movement, image. don't you? Exactly. Wow. There's yeah. something really sort of immediate and quite visceral about that. Yeah. So that has kind of developed into initially some small experiments and now into some bigger pieces. I normally start with somewhere um, either that I have a kind of personal connection to or somewhere right. that just strikes yeah. me when I'm there. Um, so a lot of work comes from repeated visits to places. Quite often it starts from reality and then like, then it's more about the marks I'm making, the composition, yeah. how yeah. it evolves, and sometimes I'll completely obliterate parts of the painting and go a totally different direction. Yeah. What I'm really wanting to, to get across is, is, is how it felt to be in that landscape. Something resonates that, you know, they might not have been to that river, but they've been somewhere similar and, and they remember and what it's like to be out in, yeah. out in that weather. So these are the outside of the yeah. notebook. Yeah, in they? fact, have I got some? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> here we go. You know, I buy a book like this, yeah, and I'll flatten it, right, and then okay. I'll paint on it. Almost everything I realised has come from these little jottings. So, you know, I started thinking I'm sitting there on the side of a hill, and I'm thinking I'm, these books are sort of telling a story of their own. I mean, it's essentially a canvas, and it absorbs the paint. It's almost come full circle, hasn't it? Yeah. What started in the sketchbook has become yeah. the sketchbook. I mean, I, I think some of these paint, these little sketches are as nice as some of my bigger paintings, yeah. and the sketchbook has recorded where it where it went. You know, um, I, I typically start with acrylics, enamel spray paints, um, oh, nice. marker yeah. pens, yeah. inks, uh, a lot of drawing, coloured pencil, graphite, and I'll scratch things away. I'll scrape away at the paint so that previous layers come through. Yeah. Oil pastels, oil paints. Um, as I say, inks. Um, so really, I, you know, I, I like to use whatever's to hand and build up a kind of table yeah, of tools, yeah. really. Yeah. Thank you so much for talking to us today, Rob. We are very excited to exhibit your work at Iona House Gallery.